Actually, I'll be talking the different aspect of plant use, or so-called the grass route. So, title will be Chemistry of Natural Products. So, let's see what are the natural products. Basically, these are the organic compounds and produced by different living organisms, plants, insects, microorganisms, and marine organisms. They produce these compounds to defend themselves or to attract their mate and to identify the community in which they live. We use uh, these natural products as nutraceuticals daily in our breakfast, lunch and dinner and uh, we use them in per uh, perfume industry and also we use them as a pharmaceutical to cure different diseases. Um, <coughs> this is the way how drugs are discovered. Actually, first of all we select the target, what target, against which target we have to discover a drug. Once we uh, select the target, then we need the chemical compounds. These chemical compounds come by uh, through chemical synthesis or combinatorial chemistry or natural products. For natural, uh, so once we have the library of the compound, then we perform the bioassay on them. If we get the lead compound, then we perform the in vitro, so thank you. Then we perform the in vitro or in vivo studies. Once we have the lead compound, then we, perform, we test them in animal models, study their toxicity and drug metabolism. And also we perform chem chemistry to determine the active, active functional group in them. And then we file a patent and hand over to industry to make some money through it. Um, why plants actually? You can see plant actually is a very important to balance the nature and we use them as a food for shelter and also use their product. For example, shampoo is one of them, rubber, and then we use them to make paper. And in some country, I was reading an article, the fermented sugar cane is used uh, for gasoline. It's a very early green chemistry which I was looking there. So if you want to see, animal also actually use the plant to the same extent. They use them as food and sometimes they use them to protect from their predators and uh, also for their survival we need the plants but if we will you know destroy the plants what will happen then animal will become endangered for instance uh, panda i was reading an article eats 40 pound of uh, uh, bamboo tree daily so that's very surprising for me so if we kill the plants how can survive the panda so it is absolutely necessary for us to have plants let I can come to the real topic now. Uh, you know, we use plant also in drug discovery process. For example, if you want to see the literature, you will see over 300,000 plants are reported in the literature, and less than 3% of them have been chemically investigated to identify the active chemical constituent for pharmaceuticals. Why we use the plant? Because they are source of structural diversity. If you look at the average life of synthetic organic chemist, he will be able to make about two or three hundred molecules in his whole career. But if you look at the plant, a leaf can make millions of compounds in one week. So you can see the structural diversity there. And if you look at the further literature, you will see 50% of the pharmaceuticals that are available on the shelf for different pharmacies, you will see are of natural product origin. And further, 25% of them come from the plants. And recently, actually, herbal drugs are becoming very popular, so-called, I call it botanical drugs. But they have some, so many problems. But I, before discussing the problem, I'd like to give you the stat. If you see the uh, worldwide sale of these drugs is over $16 billion. That's very, very high. And uh, for instance, I would like to give you one example. Uh, this plant uh, t uh, was used as a, uh, you know, uh, to treat the cancer in China, but it was having very toxic problem and killing a lot of people. Then people, I mean, did the bioassay guided isolation. They found actually this comp chemical compound, triptolide, is responsible for the anti-cancer activity. So why it's happening, why this, it, the plant was toxic? Because plants synthesize millions of compounds and they target different biological target. So you need one compound to cure particular disease. 
So if you need one compound, why not we can perform the bioassay guided isolation. This is one of the example, but there are literature is full now these days that the herbal supplements are causing lot of toxic problems. So we should try to avoid that. And uh, another question come in the mind, we have the drugs uh, in the pharmacies, why do we need the drugs? Problem is that actually instead of making synthetic method, we can devise new biotechnological method to produce this compound that's entirely green route. And also new diseases are emerging, so definitely we need more lead compound to target them. Another important issue is the uh, development of uh, microbial res uh, resistance to currently use antibiotics. Actually, definitely we need more compound to cope these issues. So this is the reason a lot of chemists you will see they will be involved in discovering new drugs. Uh, you guys can see how natural products are important for drug discovery program. Nearly a couple of years ago, this article, uh, this was the front page of the American Chemical Society, Chemical Engineering News, that the pharmaceutical industries are coming back to natural product chemistry because previously they were relying too much on synthetic organic chemistry. And this is the, I like to show you a few drugs that are used, uh, uh, you know, to treat different diseases. For example, Taxol, you can see this compound has uh, these structures and this compound was isolated from a Texas uh, 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 brevifolia, this uh, from uh, in California. And statin actually is another anti-cancer compound. This compound was isolated from Cambritum cafferum and this plant was collected from South Africa. Uh, this is the hyprazine. Uh, this compound is used to treat Alzheimer's disease. And uh, these are the equipment that you need to, you know, isolate different compounds. For example, HPLC will give you the, when you will inject the compound to high performance liquid chromatography, you will get peaks and you will collect the peaks that will result in a pure compound. And then it's a column chromatography. You can see probably, uh, we'll be able to see some bands. These bands represent sometimes pure compound, sometimes mixture of compound. Then we can do the TLC to confirm the purity. And then you can, you know, also do the TLC to purify this compound. Instead of spotting, you can do the, uh, you can streak it and it will give you the band and that band will allow you to isolate pure compounds. Uh, this is the whole slide will show you how the drugs are discovered. You collect the plant and extract it chemically and then do the bioassay on that extract and then take the active extract and do some fractionation by using different technique which I showed you guys in previous slide. You will see the active fraction and then you will do further chromatographic work to isolate the compound and most of the time one or two compounds are active, one is significantly active, other is not. And uh, in our lab actually, we were working, we are working on the enzyme inhibition uh, of compounds. Actually this is the compound acetylcholine and this compound is uh, required for the proper functioning of brain, particularly in the memory. And this enzyme acetylcholinesterase degrade this compound into acetic acid and uh, choline. So overexpression of this enzyme caused several problems, so-called the Alzheimer's, one of them is Alzheimer's disease. So we decided why not we can uh, discover some inhibitors from the nature so that can allow us to overcome this uh, Al uh, Alzheimer's disease problem. The bioassay which we use it very simple, we actually take the thiocholine instead of acetylcholine and degrade it in, with the pres in, uh, in the presence of enzyme into acetic acid and thiocholine and react it with this compound and then produce this anion and the color of this anion is very important for us. If we have a high intensity of the color, we think we have no inhibitor. If we have the less uh, color of the, uh, this uh, ion, then we say we have a good compound. And to achieve this target, what we did actually, we screened several plants collected from various parts of the world. We've, all the yellow plants listed in the yellow color are the positive hit. But I would like to share only one story with you guys. We collected Buxus natalensis from South Africa based on the axonal medicinal importance because this plant was used to uh, enhance memory in elderly peoples. When we screened this plant in our bioassay and it was active with an IC50 value 28 microgram per ml. Any IC50 value less than 50 we considered for crude plant a significant. Then we took this plant, same, did the bioassay guided isolation. 
we extracted with first of all, uh, you know, with the crude ethanol, and uh, this is a typo. Then we def defatted with the hexane. We found the activity is going towards the defatted extract. Then we did the column chromatography. We found actually one of the fraction, two fractions were active. We combined them. After combining them with further chromatographic work, we end up with this compound, and this compound was significantly active in our bioassay. So this is the way how you can discover different drugs. And uh, I hope I will be also running out of time. So my conclusion is this, we can use the pharmaceuticals, but pure compound rather than the herb, because herb produce so many compounds, they target different biological target, causing several problems. So in other words, we definitely need more plant uh, on the planet. We should keep growing them for our food and also for our other purposes. And uh, these are my collaborators who helped me a lot to establish the research work. And most of the work were done by undergraduate students. I see the one face William sitting there. He has also worked in our lab. And these are the funding agencies who supported our research program. Thank you for your attention.